name is Harvey Bergstrom, a uh, farm near Cayuga, North Dakota. Our farm originated uh, in 1900, so 118 years ago, uh, in September now. And My grandfather emigrated from northern Sweden. He came here and bought the home quarter section that we live on today and took up farming. And then, of course, uh, his family grew up in this house, in this very house right here that we live in today. And then, of course, uh, Dad farmed here all his life, and my mother, and then he told my older brother and I that, hey, guys, it's time for you to pick up the reins. So my older brother and I did, and now it's just up to me and my wife, Judy. So we continue the tradition, I guess, of the family farm and quite proud to do so. Back in November, I suffered a very serious heart attack and it went through several surgical procedures. And uh, not knowing how long this was gonna take for recovery and everything, uh, I didn't know what kind of shape I'd be in for spring planting. And a friend of mine uh, suggested that uh, I contact Farm Rescue. Happened to talk to the founder of Farm Rescue, Mr. Bill Gross himself. Told him my situation and asked if there's any way possible they could help us out to plant our soybeans this spring. He said, absolutely. He said, we'll be there for you. Submit your application and, you know, we'll check things out. And it wasn't long before a letter of acceptance came in the mail and we're going to be putting your soybeans in for you guys. Just like a, a ton of bricks lifted off of me, you know. I just knew at that time that, you know, we're going to be getting help and, and don't have to worry about the, the pressure of trying to get this crap in ourselves and so it's just a very overwhelming feeling and a very humbling experience. I was standing in the kitchen window uh, drinking a cup of coffee and I could see them you know across the field over here coming down the county road you know well here they come Jude. I saw that huge outfit coming over the hill and I thought wow that's that's impressive. It takes very special people to do special things and uh, you know you're just not going to be able to pull anybody in and, and say hey do this you know because you have to be a person cut from a very special mold to be able to do this sort of thing and when you don't know who's coming you don't know what to expect you know and uh, we've had uh, John and Carol uh, come from uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin just very very beautiful people and Mike uh, the team leader from Minot I believe superb leader just really, really great operator and uh, so, so friendly and, and, and courteous. Uh, such a professional crew, I just really can't see enough good, good things. Applying for a farm rescue is a very simple procedure. Uh, just uh, simple forms to fill out, make sure that your ducks are in a row, so to speak, and you're good to go. Yes, it's hard to see them doing the work you're supposed to be doing yourself, but knowing that you're getting it done, they're doing it the very best way they know how, just the, the stress is not there, you know, like it would be if you're out there hammering away on this ourselves. Yes, our neighbors would help out, you know, the people would be glad to come on and help out, but they have to get their own crops planted too. And so that's where Farm Rescue really shines because uh, they can come in and help out John Doe down here, you know, and get his crop in and move on to the next farm. And of course, with the two machines that Farm Rescue runs, it, it doesn't take long to cover thousands of acres and it gets done in short order. And so I feel Farm Rescue is extremely important to get the job done. Of course, a, a big thank you for the, all the sponsors of Farm Rescue because if it wouldn't be for, for good sponsorship, it probably wouldn't happen. And um, I hope that the sponsorship can continue to grow and to get other sponsors involved to contribute to the great cause that Farm Rescue is. It's my plan one day to repay what Farm Rescue has done for my wife Judy and me. It has been very, I would say, a very humbling experience for both of us and uh, just such beautiful people to come out and do this for us. It's just really amazing that there's people like this in the world. I would highly recommend to, for anybody that needs help, don't hesitate to ask. You wonder how you're going to get this crop in yourself or get it off or whatever the case might be. Please ask for help because they're going to be there. <laughs>